welcome to the mashup. We have a fun and exciting program for you guys today that we're super, super stoked for because we're going to be changing the shape of candles. And we are going to be making twisted candles. What you'll get in your kit is two candlesticks, right? Candlesticks. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Two candlesticks and then you'll get a package of model magic. So this will be so that way you can make a candle holder if you want one. If not, you can make your candles stand on their own. Totally your choice. But what you'll need is your candle. You'll need a container to put the candles in. At least one that will hold or be the size of your candle. And you're going to need some hot water. So make sure that you're careful because we're going to do some using hot water and we don't want to burn ourselves. So first, what we're going to do is in case you want to make one, that needs a stand, I'm going to show you guys how to make one. So you're going to open up the case of model magic you got. Open you. I just pulled it in the middle. There you go. go. I was like, I'm pulling it and it's not working. I was not expecting it to open. So you're going to get your own model magic out. You're going to make your candle holder into whatever shape you want. I mean, you could totally Google or Pinterest or TikTok this and get inspiration for shapes. It feels so weird. I know, model magic is just weird in general. It's not like Play-Doh, it's a very... It's not like Play-Doh and it's not like Cloud Slime, but it jars and gets hard. So you can make whatever shape you want. I'm just gonna make mine into a circle because be, I saw a couple of them like that. They were just circles and they looked really cool. And you're going to, before you twist your candle, you're going to want to imprint, impress, imprint, press it in. <laughs> you're going to want to indent it so that way you know the shape that your candle holder needs to be in order to hold the candle before we stick it in the water. So, I wanted mine to be a little donut. You can make yours whatever shape you want, but you're going to take that out, let the model magic do its magic and dry out as long as you leave it in an open area it'll dry out and you get hard and you have your candle holder so now for the fun part you are going to need roll my sleeves that's what I'm <laughs> you're gonna need your container your candlestick and some hot water so we have some hot water right here next to us that i'm afraid is gonna be super hot to pour don't run away. <laughs> Bonus on this is that it's a long container. So yeah. then it's catching the action. Okay, that might be enough water. Because I don't know if I've got enough for both of this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Step away. If you guys, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there is like steam. You can put more in yours. Well. <laughs> yeah. Just steam more. coming out. Okay, it's like, it's hot, but it's also warm to the touch. <laughs> <laughs> so from there, what you're going to want to do is you want to put your candlestick into the water. And it recommends you let it soak for about 5 to 10 minutes. But we are going to start for 5 minutes, and then we'll check on it. From there, it should be soft to the touch, like almost squishy. So therefore, you can shape it without cracking it. So we're going to let that chill in there. And do you want to set a timer or do you want me to set the timer? You can set it. Or we can both set a timer. And then let it sit and we will be back in five. for you guys our five minutes are up and it is time to now take the candle out of the warm water and start to shape it so you want to carefully remove it from your hot water very hot yeah ours might be a little too hot and when you take it out you should be able to start to twist oh, it and you should just pulling my like be able to see it bend 
And from there, you should be able to see you're doing exactly yeah. change the shape of how it looks without breaking it. And if you feel it starts to get like a little bit stiff, and or anything in here, worried that it might start to like crack and break, then what I recommend you do is just put it back in the water and let it soak some of that warm water up again. That way, you won't crack your candle, and you can go back to shaping it. I put two of them in there. I'm gonna let that one sit in there for a little bit longer. Okay. Oh, I don't want that up. This is kind of cool, but it'll probably be useless when it burns. It just looks like a snake. <laughs> That's why I was like trying to make sure I cut that part up. There we go. So you're gonna there move go. it. The hotter the water, the more is it malleable? Yeah, I was gonna say pliable. But pliable, yeah. malleable. The more squishy it'll be, and you'll be able to shape it a little bit better. And if you want it to be like a funny shape, but also want it to stand up, I recommend you definitely push it against the table. That way you know where the base is of this and you could just shape it to that. So you just keep moving your candle into your shape until you get the desired look that you're looking for. Once you get that look, <laughs> once you get that look, you will have your candle. I mean, this is really cool. This is cooler than I imagined it would be. Just and if you had colored one. candles, be pretty. oh, it'd be so neat. So then now that it's shaped like how you want it to be, and you feel like there's little creases, you could always just smooth those out because the wax is movable right now. And you just let it sit there and then let it harden itself back up. The more it stays out of the warm water, the back to its original state, it'll go. So it just looks like intestines. Like, just you can put it in my, you can put it in the, in your holder. You might want to test your shapes too, by the way, if you want to stand up because your one side might be heavier than the other one. So far we're doing all right. That's pretty neat. So we're going to work on our other ones really quick and we'll be right back. are trying this out at home making your own shapes and twist we totally forgot that you can even flatten the candles and then twist it up top to give it this really cool shape to it as well so you can do a combination of both no matter what you try if you do this try this at home share it with us tag us on social media you could use the hashtag read a couple books so read a cpl books let us see what you guys created i would love to see what shapes you guys came up with because this is really, really neat. But I hope you guys enjoyed this month's mashup. And I'll look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye.